I talked to Royce last week. I was commenting on his shit. You guys got to do a record together. We've been overdue. It's overdue. For a fucking record. Royce, in my eyes, you're one of the best rappers of all time. Ever. And I'm ready. So, I already told it's, you. It's I, I just commented on your Instagram post. So, Royce, whenever you're ready, I'm ready. It's like, come on, uh, Detroit. If I go to Detroit, I'm going to call Royce. Let me what up, YouTube? It's Jay Coffee. Got another hip hop blog for you guys. You heard that clip. That's Freddie Gibbs, who dope underrated artist in my opinion. You know what I mean? I I, I touched on it in a previous video. I, I root for Freddie Gibbs. You know, as he's like an underdog. You know, put his own city on the map when it comes to hip hop, the hip hop world. But you heard what he's talking about there regarding Royce the Five Nine and his opinion. You know, Royce, the dopest in Detroit. Sound like that's what he was saying. You know what I mean? He wants to get a collab going with Royce the 5'9". He said, Royce, I'm ready. You know, uh, tap in, in the comments. Let me know if you guys be looking forward to that. Uh, a Freddie Gibbs, Royce collab. And, um, you know, you heard, like, in this interview that he was talking about uh, Royce, he was talking about, Royce is one of the Jedi's of the rap game, you know, and, and Gibbs considers himself to be a Jedi as well. They named, um, you know, Royce, Kendrick, Eminem um, was a few. He, he might have named some other artists, you know, as as Jedi's, you know what I mean? Like the chosen ones, I guess. So get in the comments. Let me know who you guys think are the Jedi's of the rap game. Let me know if you guys agree you know, that if you were a rapper and you were to touch down in Detroit and you had to holler at someone for a collab, you know, would Royce be uh, your first choice? You know what I mean? Like, I got so much respect for Royce the Five Nine as a rapper. Like, dude is nice. Um, you know, it was a tough road for him to get into the rap game. Um, he kept grinding. He went through a lot of hardships, fell off with Eminem, mainly D12, but kind of Eminem as well. But you know, everything came full circle for Royce to 5'9". And, uh, you know, kind of the same type of journey for Gibbs, falling off with Jeezy. And then, you know, still keep working hard and got to where, you know, he is today. But do you agree? Like, it almost sounds, you know, he didn't say it. But by saying, if, if we're talking about Detroit, Royce is who I'm hollering at. It almost sounds, you know, like in his in his book, in his opinion... Royce is the better rapper than Eminem, you know? Now, do you guys agree with that? Out of Royce and M, is Royce the nicer one? I mean, Royce is dope, man. So I, I want to know, you know, this is a big question to all the hip hop fans out there, a big debate. Is Royce nicer than Eminem? Yeah, that song never officially came out. No. And I, from what I understand, that was like a big fuss. Jeezy went on the motherfucking radio and said, hey, Hey man, Freddie Gibbs fucked up my relationship with Eminem. He said that. First of all, there was a record mm -hmm. that you were on that got leaked with Eminem. Damn. For remember, that, remember that song? It was I you, Jay-Z, and Eminem. Damn. And then there was a point in time where you and I would talk, and I would I remember I got I I, I got in trouble once like eight, nine years ago for playing one of your records on Shade 45. You did? I don't know. There was like I didn't know that there was like a list on Shade Forty. I'm, I'm on every list. But like, like <laughs> listen, we'd be crazy to say Eminem isn't one of the Jedi's. Eminem is fucking of incredible. I would never say that. But um, talk about that. The record that leaked. I'm assuming you know the record. It was you, Jeezy, and M. So you hear that clip there? That's wild, right? That um, there's a song floating around out there. Eminem, Jeezy, and Gibbs talk to me. Now, I've never heard the song. You heard what they said. The song leaked out. It caused issues. But I, I never heard it. But, um, you know, I'm definitely going to check it out. But for those who did hear it, tap in in the comments. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I, I miss I miss songs from time to time. You know what I mean? But as an Eminem fan, I've always, you know, found it interesting and been excited when he does a collaboration with an artist 
that, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily would think would work with M. You know what I mean? Not like not like I don't think they like M, but just surprises me to see them work together. You know what I mean? Like when we got Renegade with Jay-Z or recently when we got Eminem in uh, Fat Joe off Fat Joe's latest project project, although they did technically work together on the Lean Back remix, but you know that that dope joint that dropped recently with with Fat Joe that restarted up the Nick Cannon beef, and then we got Nick Cannon putting the Wildin' Out Black team and Suge Knight on a diss. Although that's a whole nother story and a whole nother rabbit hole to go down. But um, I don't know. I just found this kind of interesting. You know that Jeezy and Eminem's relationship went bad over this song leaking out you know what i mean and that jeezy blamed gibbs for uh ruining the relationship with eminem and i i guess you know from the sounds of it he feels that uh you know gibbs is the one who did indeed leak the song and from the way you know gibbs and kev are talking to each other here it almost sounds like you know they're kind of being sarcastic or funny and and saying you know that gibbs did indeed leak the song you know but um, I never knew that, that there was, uh, you know, some bad blood or I, I don't want to, you know, exaggerate and call it bad blood between Eminem and Jeezy. But it seems, you know, definitely something went wrong between them two. But I mean, who like, I, I don't know who who heard that song. What do you think of, the, of that and Eminem and Jeezy collaboration? But um, I don't know. It's wild. You know, I talked about this in another recent video, you know, the way uh, Jeezy and Gibbs situation fell apart you know it, it seemed like a, a promising uh, situation for Gibbs like he was a good fit with Jeezy and you know everything went bad you know which we see way too much with artists who are signed under you know a bi bigger artists who try to start their own movement it, it seems to not work out so often but you know it's it's dope you know Gibbs is in a good place now and um, you know him and Jeezy definitely ain't cool but you know, he's moved beyond it. He ain't worried about Jeezy no more. But that's all I got on this one, guys. I'm going to close this thing out. Make sure you guys get up in the comments with all your thoughts on everything I touched on in this video. Um, just going to uh, close it out with one more clip where uh, Gibbs is talking about after leaving CTE. You know what I'm saying? There were some CT artists who were, I guess we'll say, looking for him. You know what I mean? They came to his tour bus looking for him when the GZ Gibbs beef was still ongoing. But, uh, you know, like I said, interested to hear what you guys got to say about the whole Eminem Royce thing and everything else I touched on in this video. Make sure to sub to the channel. Make sure to hit the bell. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.